fun day planned today. We want to go to one of our favorite bookstores, Books A Million. We love it because it's like Barnes & Noble and half price mixed in one. So we are very excited about that. And then we're also gonna play a game that we haven't played in such a long time. It's called Five Second Summaries. Last time we played it, it was so chaotic, but we had such a fun time playing it. And we've read a few more books since then. So we thought it would be fun to do that. And then later we will talk a little bit about book club updates and what our plan is for next month. Let's get to it. Okay. Let's go. have the TJ Klune book. This one just came out today, I think. We might have to get it. We wanted to get Emily Henry's new book, but we're only seeing hardcover, and I do not love that. The one time we want an Emily Henry book, and there's only hardcover. Even I don't want a hardcover romance. We went to Books A Million today and we are barely getting home to show you guys what we got. First of all, let's show you guys the super cute tote bags we could not leave without. They had so many good ones and we have been needing a good quality tote bag. I wanted my daily one to be a bit thicker. Mm -hmm. So I wanted like a legit canvas bag. Honestly, we know that National Book Day or whatever it was just passed and we completely missed it. So this was us treating ourselves just for that. Like that present. It's a holiday and it wasn't that bad. It was only $14.99 each. They're the same tote bag, but just different designs. This one just says read more all around with a little book open. And this one says spread kindness like wildflowers, but I love the simple flower design on there. So freaking cute. And then they have like the little pockets on the side and one zipper. On the inside. On the inside. All right, we're gonna show you what we got. Out of all the bookstores we go to, they pretty much have the biggest bargain book section and they always have such good options. I think everything we got was from the bargain section. So one that I've been seeing Seeing and have been wanting is called While We Were Dating by Jasmine Go um, I think it's just Guillory. Oh, Guillory. Yeah. By Jasmine Guillory. I think I have two books by her. You also have one. So we have a little collection growing of hers. This one was only $5.97. It has the bargain price on it. Two people realize that it's no longer an act when they veer off script in this sizzling romantic comedy by New York Times bestselling author. Jasmine G. <laughs> <laughs> ben Stevens has never been bothered with serious relationships. He has plenty of casual dates to keep him busy, family drama he's trying to ignore, and his advertising job to focus on. When Ben lands a huge ad campaign featuring movie star Anna, it's hard to keep it purely professional. Okay. I see. I see. Okay, okay. I like how it says family drama. That's like mm -hmm. one of my favorite things to read about as well. Anna is on a mission to make herself a household name, and this ad campaign will be a great distraction while she waits to hear if she's booked for her next movie. Hey, wait, I don't want to yeah, I'm like, hold on. I don't want to 
read anymore. This already sounds really good. So it seems like we have the Hollywood celebrity romance that I do like to read about. Also some family drama in there. So I think it's gonna be really good. Okay, so the first book I got, I actually almost just purchased on Book Outlet, but I'm glad I didn't because it ended up being cheaper here at Books A Million. And it is Vesper Teen by Margaret Rogerson. Honestly, this cover is gorgeous. And when I read the inside, I knew I finally needed to get it. This one sounds so good. It says that our main character is training to be a gray sister. And that's basically just a nun who cleanses the bodies of the deceased so that their souls can pass on. If they don't do that, the souls will rise as spirits with ravenous hunger for the living and basically be evil. She unravels a sinister mystery of saints, secrets, and dark magic. And when a hidden evil begins to surface, she discovers that facing this enemy might require her to betray everything she's been taught to believe if the revenant doesn't betray her first. If this is saying that what she grew up learning isn't actually the truth and it's like one of those books, I always love that. If I'm way off, if I'm deciphering that wrong and I'm way off, then never mind. But either way, you guys know I love like dark magic books. Cover's beautiful. I think there might be more books in this series. And I also believe this author did Sorcery of Thorns, which is another one that I've been waiting to read. So I'm just really happy they had this one. I was meant to find it there. It was only $5.97. And you guys know I just love my young adult fantasy-esque stories. So I'm excited to have this one. The next one I found was actually pretty shocking. I saw the author name, which is Christina Lawrence, The House. Let me say that again. Christina Lauren. Who knew Christina Lauren had like a mystery book? I had no idea. I've never heard of this. So when I saw this, I knew I had to pick it up and it was only $3.97, so perfect. Let's read the back together. He's always dressed in black. His head down and shaggy black hair falls into his eyes. But when Gavin looks up at Delilah, his dark eyes shadowed with bluish circles seem to flicker to life. I love him. Oh. I love these types of characters. Her lifelong fascination with him has been a mixture of longing and bear-like protectiveness because he lives in that house, that one at the edge of town, spooky and maybe haunted. Gavin tells Delilah he's hers completely, but whatever lives with him inside the house disagrees. Ooh! That's kind of spooky. Wait, I kind of love that. You should have got one. It was only $3.97. Should we go back? I did look at the reviews on Goodreads and it seems like you either loved it or you hated mm. it. So we will see how I feel. I mean, we like the romance writing already. Mm -hmm. So this is just with a dark twist. Yeah. Okay, I'm excited. I'm gonna read it right when you're done. The second one I ended up getting is Our Crooked Hearts by Melissa Albert. This is another one that I've had my eye on you guys and it was only $5.97 here. So I ended up getting it. You guys know how I am about like spooky YA books. This one just really caught my eye. It says secret spies, super bad choices, witchcraft. Like I'm hooked. You know what I mean? It says the suburbs right now, 17 year old Ivy summer break kicks off with an accident, a punishment and a mystery. It says a stranger whose appearance in the middle of the road in the middle of the night heralds a string of increasingly unsettling events. That gives me stranger things. As the days pass, Ivy grapples with the eerie offerings, corroded memories and a secret she's always known that there's more to her mother than meets the eye. Okay. Hey Coraline, I believe we're following Ivy right now in the present. Ivy knows something's going on with her mom and then we actually get to see the mom's perspective and see what happens when she was her age. It says years after it began, Ivy and Dana's shared story will come to a reckoning among a daughter, a mother, and the dark forces they never should have messed with. I love this. I can't believe I actually hadn't picked it up already because I think if I had read the summary, I would have bought it, but it just sounds so good. I'm honestly ready for spooky season already. I'm gonna read a bunch of these to get me into the spirit. Those were the books we got. That was really fun. We would have bought that Emily Henry book, but you guys, what is the deal with the hardcover? I don't know because any release beforehand, I don't think she's done it in hardcover. You guys know I'm a hardcover girl too and I don't even want No, All my other ones of hers are paperback. Yeah. If it ends up coming on like Kindle Unlimited or she ends up doing a paperback, I'll definitely read it. Yeah. So come on, Emily Henry. <laughs> Before we went to Books A Million, we did play a game. So we are going to show you guys that. If you didn't watch that first video or you don't know anything about five second summaries, basically we have a box here full of titles of books that we've read. So we'll take turns picking out titles and we have to try and get the other person to guess the title in five seconds. I think the rules we did last time were we can't mention the author or any of the words in the title when giving the summary. We also learned from that first one that we're not gonna start the five second timer until after we've read the paper. Thank you. Because it, it takes took us five seconds to even read what it says. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna pick first. 
You're gonna start the timer after I've read the title. Okay. Oh my gosh. We're gonna try and do like 20 each because I think there's like 40 in there. This is, I, I apologize in advance. This is gonna be hard to watch. <laughs> Wait, do I go? Do I Okay, go, go. go. A girl gets a letter from someone. She, hey, has, house. she has a house and there's a- Oh my god! This is gonna be so bad! A girl gets a letter from the house? I haven't read this one. That's my bad. <laughs> I, I I didn't, I didn't know exactly- <laughs> I can't even talk. It was the inheritance games. Oh. I just didn't get to the games part. I, I was trying not to say games. I should have said there were riddles. Okay, we'll do another. Go, okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh no, don't go ahead yet. It's a sad YA romance book. Every last word. And oh my god! Dude, there's no way we haven't read some of these books in forever. Let's switch. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, we have to read some of these books in forever. Let's switch. Okay, yeah, let's switch. Okay, never mind. Lauren's gonna start. If we refer back to video one, Amanda was so much better at summarizing, and I was better at guessing anyway. Okay. So this is what we should have done. I'm gonna. I'm ready. Mix it all up in there. Ready? Yeah. Well, no, you read it oh. first. Okay. Marsh girl, there's like a dead body. Crawdad's There you go. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Queer romance comic. It's like graphic. Heartstopper. Yes, ma'am. Easy. Okay. Um, it's like a YA and there's like a missing body. Is he a billionaire? Is that not what happens? <laughs> I know what you're talking about now. The turtles all the way down. Yeah. So what? Does that mean you didn't get that? <laughs> no, one? I didn't get it. Okay. Um, historical fiction. The women are like helping in the war. Nightingale. Yes, me. Okay. See, so you're so much better at it. Five seconds is stressful. It is. Um, okay, so he's like the celebrity and she has to take care of him, like watch after him so the psychos don't get to him. The bodyguard? Yeah. Oh no! I could have said that better. No, it's me, it's me. Okay, like polyamorous relationship and like she Fuck. goes- Fuck! Yes. It's cause like the only one we yeah, had. Yeah, the only- Um, she like kills her husband, she doesn't say another word and this man- The silent patient. Yes! Oh jeez, this is so stressful. She like works for a family and there's like a mystery going on. Housemaid! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's taking me- I didn't want to be like, she's no, like, no, no, no. I'm just saying we would be awful at this game in person. I know. If it was teens. Um, okay, uh, paranormal romance. Pen pal? Yeah. Okay. The, the, only, <laughs> the only one, one we read. read. Oh, she's like stalking her neighbor. She has like her binoculars. She thinks someone's going down, so. How's across the lake? Yes. I didn't even read that book. Super toxic relationship, like Chuck and Blair, but 10 times worse. Magnolia Park. Mm -hmm. Awful. <laughs> um, oh, there's like a wedding and all of these people have like a motive. A and guest list? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I was like on honeymooners? Oh. Um, she's like in jail. She hasn't been able to see her daughter. Reminders of him. Mm -hmm. I'm good at this. I know, that's what I told you. Um, they're both like scientists. It's Adam and Olive. <laughs> the love hypothesis. Are we not allowed to I say characters names? I don't hey. think you should, but I, I you got it. You would have got it. Yeah, anyway. yeah, yeah. Scientists. Um, oh, they like eat humans. Human body. <laughs> Tenders of blood. Yes. Oh, she can't touch anybody. It's like a YA dystopian if she touches Shout them. Shout me? Yeah. Ooh, I, I haven't even read these. I know, but I hadn't even clicked that right. I think I paused it, but I got it. Oh, a magical youth, found family. Oh my god, magical! Oh, the, the, the cerulean! Yes! I'm like, I don't need to say more than that. You know what that is. Cerulean! Cerulean. My bad. What is this? <laughs> oh, F1 sports uh, car oh, racing. throttle, throttle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, See, that was the one I have it right. Yeah. That's a little thrown off. I keep not clicking it. Not you being able to see my fingerprints on my phone Ew. screen. <laughs> The hair. Gross. Oh, you're worse. Um. Oh, he has a tail. That's a <laughs> fantasy. The girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I completely forgot that man he had has a tail. tail. That's awful. Does Why? that play into the later? I don't think it. It's just like he has one. It. It's just there. <laughs> That's the worst thing I've ever heard. Okay. Um. Brother's romance, but the brother isn't even there. He's like Twisted singing. Love. Yeah. He's like singing. 
Oh, oh, um, it's like a YA mystery thriller. Um, they have to like use someone who's like really crazy. It's like good. <laughs> what? What? Oh, I, uh, nonchalantly. Yeah. I was thinking a good girl's guide to murder. Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. Okay, ready? Let me use your pop socket. Okay, yeah. Oh. Oh. I sorry, sorry. It. Okay, ready? Yes. Okay. She's a serial killer. He's not a serial. Yep. <laughs> that was a good, easy first yes, one for yes. me. Okay, YA contemporary. She writes poems. She has, she's like joins a poetry. Club. Sorry, that's her. Yeah. Woo okay. See, I'm warmed up now. Yeah, yeah, you got it. <laughs> Wait. Okay, YA mystery thriller would be good. Jordan Peele. Like uh, Ace of Spades. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's kind of cheating. That's all you had to say. What is this? Oh, an Irish family. Oh, we're the Brennan. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Spooky rom com. Sex. 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 Okay. Ooh. 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 Okay. It's about a girl. She plays tennis. Oh, Carrie Soto. Okay. It's all I knew. <laughs> Horror book. He has to go to a hotel and. The Shining. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this okay, it's a YA romance. Okay, it's a YA romance. It's very sad. He moves away, ends up coming back. <laughs> it's like we read a lot of sad YA romances. It was a thousand boy kisses. Oh yeah. I didn't know what else is that was hard. That one was hard. Okay. A man goes, he wakes up in space. Uh Project Tell Mary. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, I got that one. I got that. Okay, yeah. I believe it's about a family. It's in a girl's perspective. She has to watch over the whole family. A party happens. The whole Mountain book. Rising. Yeah. Woo. I even read these books. <clears throat> it's about two people, right person, wrong time. They keep missing each other the whole time out throughout college. <laughs> that one's hard because I know you haven't read it. Oh, yeah, people. I didn't read that. that. That's like literally the only summary. I was thinking before we were strangers. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's hard. I have heard people compare before we were strangers to normal people too, so. Because right person, wrong time, I guess? Yeah. Alright. Okay, it's about a band. And, uh, 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 uh Daisy Jones! <laughs> <Yes. laughs> I'm like, Malibu Rising. Right yeah, yeah. Okay, it's about a mom and, and her daughter goes missing in the past. And she was gone. Yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Okay, the husband goes missing and then the mother and stepdaughter. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, then uh, the last thing you told me. I think I have so much more time than I actually yeah. do. I should have said an adaptation just came out. Okay, dark romance. Too late. Yeah. That's the only other dark romance. Movie. Okay, okay, okay. The Mind F and Too Late. God, but that's all you need. Yeah. <laughs> okay, dystopian world. Everything's perfect in this world. They've conquered everything. Mm -hmm. Easy. Easy. Okay, fantasy. There's a heist. Bunch of different characters. Six of Crows. That's the only heist. <laughs> a bunch fantasy. of different characters. <laughs> a bunch of. There's six of them. <laughs> It's a girl, she paints, and it's a romance. Confess! Why am I yelling? <laughs> Confess! <laughs> it's a fantasy YA. She gets left alone on an island. She has to find her way back. Fable! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. These are all great ones. Okay, she thinks her husband's dead. She ends up moving on. The husband is- What's your loves? Yeah. I haven't even read any of these. Okay. I know. All right, ready? You put all the ones I've read in there. Uh-huh. Okay, we get to see how her life would play out in two uh, different ways. Uh, maybe another life. I got that, I got that. So good. I only know these because you I talk know, a lot of so much. But you picked, like, we did all ones that I Okay, okay, okay. This one, historical fiction, set in the 70s, rock star Mary life. Jane. Mary Jane. And last Jane. one, last one. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, small town romance. She has a twin sister. And she Things that we never got over. Mm-hmm. Wait, that was it then. That was fun. Yeah, they go by so quick. Ew. We need to read more. I know. <laughs> that's the main I issue think this was like pretty much all the ones that we read since the last time.
That was solid though. You see, I just needed you to go first so I could yeah. get it. Yeah, that was better. <laughs> the Inheritance Games one was bad. I want to see other booktubers do this game. I know. I That'd don't even fun. know if it was a trend. I've seen a lot of people do guess the book by its first line, but I would not be able to do that. But yeah, that was so fun. Let us know if there's any other bookish games we can do. We would love to. Now we want to chat with you guys a little bit about the book club since April was the first month of Literal Besties. We think it went so well. Mm -hmm. We read Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. It was so cute and it was so fun to chat with you guys about everything that was going down in the book. We do want to continue having a different genre for every month and letting you guys vote on which book wins. Mystery Thriller was the genre that won for May and this is the book that you guys voted for. So this is what we will be reading in May. We're so excited to get started. It's such a big difference too from Icebreaker. I know. But I am glad that like the people who didn't love the rom-com will maybe like this a little bit more. We did host these two polls on the YouTube app, but we now know we can put polls on Fable. So I guess you guys let us know, those who are in the book club, would you rather have the polls here on YouTube or in the app? We don't know which one's easier, but we can do either one. But yeah, that's kind of just all the updates. We'll get more into our reviews for Icebreaker in our wrap up. But overall, we're just loving the app. It's pretty much a perfect platform for what we needed it for. If you haven't joined the book club yet and you want to, the link will always be in the description. Come join, be a literal bestie. We're about to kick off a new month. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and we will see you next time. Oh, I love it. Look at the side pockets. Little water bottle. Oh, that's very cute. Should I get one? And we will have five seconds to pick one out and explain it and have... <laughs> <laughs> Is it going to do a scary, scary alarm? Yeah, I don't know if I could change. Oh, yeah, I can here. Yeah. No. No. Sure. By Jasmine Gwood. Gillery? Gillery? I think. I think. While we were dating by Jasmine Goyler Lee. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, he's always dressed in black. What? <laughs> I'm like, okay, I like it. I like, I like it. it. Vesperton? Vesperton. I don't know. Should I look it up? Vesperton. Yeah. Vesperton. 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 Or is that AI? Oh. Oh. Okay, here's what I'm getting from this, okay? <laughs> a stranger whose appearance in the middle of the road. I can't catch a break here. <laughs> <laughs> and then it says years after Begain. Begain, oh, we gotta go. <laughs> but I don't have any slept. This was a pretty good time, you guys. It was a pretty good time. So. <laughs> <laughs> You're just repeating whatever I say. That happens in the reading sprints every time. That happens just in our normal conversations <laughs> all the time. I'm a people pleaser, okay? You're right. I'm so happy we got our new bags. Let me model it. No, these are cute. New book bag video coming. Or maybe we could take a whack at? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Moving on to... Do it again. I had crazy eyes. <laughs> okay. Um, Okay. Now moving on to some book club updates. My 